Welcome back to the shop guys, my name is Sam. And today I wanted to share just a quick trick that I've learned with you. This isn't an original technique, so I'll link a description to the video where um, I kind of found out about this trick. It was doing something completely different, but it still works. And I'm also gonna explain the situation you'd be in where this comes in really handy in the situation we're in right now. So follow me over here, I will explain what we're working on and how this trick can really benefit us. We're working on a project, Ali and I are, in our new series, Life Outside the Shop. So if you haven't checked that video out, I will put a little tag, it'll probably be somewhere up here, over there, um, so you can take a look and kind of get an idea of what we're working on and why we need this trick. This is a pallet wood piece, and we need to cut out the silhouette of a dog, and that's it's just gonna be decoration that's going on our wall. But here's the problem. So I've got my template. This is the German short-haired pointer that we're gonna cut out of this palette piece. This is great. I've got the template to use my jigsaw with, but if I use spray adhesive to adhere it to this side of the palette, well then I'm gonna have adhesive all over my pretty boards that we distressed. And so the simple solution is flip it over. Got it flipped over. Uh, one thing I did kind of behind the scenes, I didn't show you because it's kind of boring, is I just marked out on this side of the, I don't know what to call this thing. It's not a pallet wall. It's just a chunk of pallet, wood. I don't know, a pallet slab. Let's call it a pallet slab. I flipped it over and I've marked out where the pallet slab lies on this half inch plywood backing. If I take my template and I put it down, it all still fits within the boundaries, that's great except for now it's backwards. This wouldn't matter if you didn't have any, if you had a random order of pallet wood on the other side, and it wouldn't be a big deal because you could just cut it out and it'd all look the same, except for Ali wanted some specific colors in order. So now, if we were to cut this out, it would be backwards and upside down, or backwards and horizontally mirrored, if you're an illustrator guy. Here's where our trick comes in. We can flip, this over, flip over a template. Again, it fits within the borders because it's the same thing, but you can't see through it. So that's where this guy comes in. This stuff, hopefully it'll focus. This is called xylene. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's really cheap. You can get it for like three to five dollars at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Option, stuff like that. What it originally is used for is if I had this as a logo, I could soak it on top of the board with this xylene and it would basically remove the ink from the paper and leave it on the board, which is really cool if you need to like transfer a logo onto wood. In our case, we don't need to do that. But while I was doing it on another project, I'm trying to think, I don't know exactly which one it is. You could probably find it somewhere in my past videos, but I noticed that when you put it on here, it basically makes the paper transparent. Not completely clear, but you should, you, you'll be able to see the ink on the other side. So that is where it's gonna come in really handy. So let me get this position. I'm gonna tape it down, and then I'm gonna put the xylene on it so you can see what happens. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, I did, I put some spray adhesive on here and tape just so it'll stay. Let's put some xylene in the cup and we're just gonna grab a shop rag or I guess you could use a paintbrush if you wanted to, but shop rag works the best. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our shop rag, fold it up however you like, make it easy, dip it into that xylene and we're just gonna literally spread it onto the paper. You can already start to see our image come through. You don't have to go everywhere with it, but you want to go everywhere you, where you can see the image coming through. Okay, and there you have it. So this thing is completely see-through. We can see all of our lines crisp on the other side. We'll be able to follow along with our jigsaw and we should be able to cut this out and it'll be the right orientation when we flip it back over. It's a little bit stinky and if it evaporates, which it yeah. tends to do, uh, just keep a little xylene on the side so you can touch it up if you need to. The other added benefit is, like I said before, 
the image should be transferred onto this plywood. If all else fails, you still got that line on there. Guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you like this little tricks and tips video. If you haven't checked out our making it video of this silhouette, definitely do so. I will link that in the description. Until then, trust your guide. We'll see you next time. See you, bye.